Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Tarot by Melissa and today's reading is going to be focusing in on how does your person feel about you and we are going to be doing one of my blunt versions of this reading pretty much as always. So what I'll be looking into today is how your person on your mind is currently feeling about you and about this connection. And of course, the reason that I title the reading Blunt is because my goal and intention is to provide you with the honest, grounded truth of what I see, whether it's positive, negative, neutral, indifferent. I do believe that it's in your highest good for me to not sugarcoat these readings and tell you the truth of what is going on from your person's perspective. So let's get into some disclaimers. First of all, if you guys are at all sensitive about your person, then this may not be the best suited reading for you because I'm going to, as I said, give you the truth of what I see. So if you're not open to receiving positive news or even just like neutral news or news that you might not want to hear, this might not be the best suited reading for you. Also keep in mind though guys that this is a general reading. So some of the messages might apply to your situation, other messages might not. As a best practice, if something is ever feeling confusing or like it's not really lining up with your situation, then it's probably not your message. Just release it and let it go. And please never allow readings like this to really trigger you or get you upset, okay? If you did wanna book a personal reading, all the details on how you could book one with me will be linked in the description box down below. So let's go ahead and get into our deck selection. For today's reading, we have three piles to choose from. For pile one, we are working with the field tarot. For pile number two, oh, I'm sorry, and this is some uh, aqua obsidian. For pile number two, we are working with the muse tarot and some citrine. And then for pile number three, we're working with the artist inner vision tarot with some amethyst. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath. Think about your person. Think about how they feel about you and this connection at this time. Go ahead and select the deck or the crystal you feel the most intuitively connected to. And once you've made your choice, scroll down to the description box to locate the timestamp that will take you to your chosen reading. See you there. Hey Pile One, and welcome to your reading. If you guys picked out the Field Tarot with this little blue heart crystal, this is going to be your reading. We're looking into how your person is currently feeling about you and about this connection. And if you guys missed the intro, um, you probably saw in the thumbnail, this is going to be blunt. So the goal here is to give you guys the honest truth of what I see, whether it is positive or not, <laughs> okay? So let's go ahead and start by looking into where your person currently stands energetically with regard to this connection. So for pile one, where does their person stand? If you guys are ever curious what decks I'm using, they're always um, listed in the description box below. I know sometimes you guys ask me. All right, where does pile one's person currently stand with regard to this connection, please? So we have dates. Where does their person stand? We have truth. We also have between the lines at the bottom of the deck. So already I feel like this person is, maybe they've been in a place with you where there's been this undertone of sort of being on the fence or not really having things very clearly defined with this connection. But what I see here with regard to where they currently stand is I feel that this person is wanting to clarify something with you with truth here. I feel they may want to have a conversation with you. I feel that they may want to understand something and make sure that they are crystal clear. Um, whether this is about your intentions or them expressing their truth of where they stand with you. Um, I do think that this person is currently viewing you as someone that they're dating or someone that they would want to go out on a date with. Um, I feel that this person is almost like thinking about how they would like to charm you and really win you over. <laughs> um, so interesting energy to kind of start us off. I think we'll go ahead and just jump right into the tarot cards next. So let's just kind of see what comes through. So... For pile one, how does their person feel? I'm really curious to know more about like what this truth is that they're wanting to express. I do feel like this person may have been holding back a lot of their feelings for a while. Um, 
You guys also did choose this deck is blue and you picked a blue crystal, which can oftentimes be associated with the throat chakra. So there's something for sure coming through here about communication that maybe has been blocked in the past. Um, or maybe there's just been some hesitation here from them. All right, so how does pile one's person currently feel about pile one? How do they feel? So we have a seven of wands reversed, okay. And we have a king of cups, okay. I keep smiling in this reading. I, I don't know, I feel that this person, we have a seven of cups in reverse. I do feel for a lot of you guys that you do make this person happy. You make them smile. Like I'm noticing how she's smiling here. Whenever that king of cups came up, I just automatically smiled and I don't really know why. Um, clarifying the seven of wands reverse, please. We have judgment, clarifying the king of cups. How do they feel? Nine of Cups in reverse and clarifying the Seven of Cups reversed. We have the Prince of Swords in reverse. There's that blocked communication energy. And here we have a Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck, which definitely kind of <laughs> echoes that sentiment of being in between the lines. And it also kind of echoes that sentiment of like not expressing yourself or themselves. So I'm going to pull, let's grab one of these love cards and then we'll get into this. So for pile one, how does their person currently feel? About them. We do have soulmate here, great connection, relationship. We also have the mature man here at the bottom of the deck. So this person may be older than you or they, it's interesting that this guy here has kind of like silver hair as well. I, I feel that this person might be a little bit older than you or they might be trying to um, be mature in their mind about how they're handling things with you. This person may also um, just have a lot of experience in love or more experience than you in love and dating and things like that, potentially. But I definitely feel like this person is on the fence with this two of swords. Like there's something here that they maybe aren't ready to confront just yet. There's something here that they are thinking and feeling and wanting to express, but they aren't quite ready. I want to take that back. I think that they're getting ready to do so <laughs> because I'm going back here with this truth energy. I feel that this person wants to express truth or they want to hear truth from you. And maybe with this two of swords, they I think they know that it's time to make a decision is what I feel about what they want to do with regard to this connection. And I see some other indications of that as well. I'm also seeing some indications here that this person might not be totally like happy with how things have gone for some of you. Um, we have a lot of cups here and a couple of them are making me think this person might not be totally happy. But let's, let's get into this. Seven of Wands with the Judgment card. I feel like this person is in a place where they are not wanting to push anything. Like they're not wanting to push or force anything onto you. Um, again, going back to this mature energy here, we also have underneath of that the true love card. <laughs> so I feel like this person is just not wanting to kind of force anything onto you. And I think that a part of this has to do with the fact that They, I feel, are in a place where they're trying to kind of evaluate how you fit into their life in general. For some of you guys, this could be a person that you've had a history with or that you've already connected with in some capacity in the past because sometimes judgment is kind of like second chances or like 
renewal of a situation, but it can also just talk about doing a life review of something, right? Like we're doing a life review and we are deciding how we want to move forward bigger picture. So in this instance, I feel that this person has is seeing you as someone that they're dating. They're seeing you as someone that they need to make a decision about ultimately. They feel this great connection with you with soulmates, but they don't want to force anything. And I think part of this is because they're still ultimately deciding how they want to move forward as well. Um, for others of you, I feel if this is a person from your past, I feel like this person does want a second chance with you, but they don't, again, they don't want to force it, right? They don't want to push it onto you. They kind of just want to almost like let it come to them. I just really get the sense that this person doesn't want you to feel pressured in any way. And I also think this judgment card with the seven of wands is talking about from a mature aspect, right, with the mature man here, which I keep coming back to. It's almost like someone that doesn't want, like they're looking at the big picture and they know that like some things are not worth fighting over. They're picking their battles. They don't want to force themselves onto someone. They want to make sure that you feel comfortable is part of what I'm getting from this. We have the King of Cups with the Nine of Cups in reverse. So it's interesting because I feel like this person definitely has feelings and emotions for you. But this person is coming across as being very maybe stoic, not expressive in their emotions. We have a lot of water energy here. This person could be a water sign. Doesn't necessarily have to be. We also have some air energy here as well. But this person, they definitely have feelings for you. And I think they're trying to stay in control of their feelings. I think that deep down inside, this person is not that happy with the situation or it may not even be that deep. It almost just feels like they're not really getting everything that they want right now. Um, maybe this person does want more with you and they feel like they're still in this dating phase. Um, <laughs> that could be the thing for someone. But they don't want you to see their dissatisfaction. They're holding that inside and really wanting to present to you a more mature, measured, controlled, emotionally intelligent type of demeanor. I think that this person with the seven of cups in reverse, I wonder for some of you guys if this person has been dating other people outside of this connection and just kind of exploring different options. I feel for some of you guys, this person is kind of getting to a place where they feel like you could be the one option. Like I'm feeling a lot of this energy of them wanting to potentially take things to the next level from dating, um, but them just like kind of hesitating or not being totally sure yet. Sometimes the Seven of Cups is like in reverse. It's like we know the choice we want to make now. But... For others of you, I'm wondering if there has been a situation with communication that has come up where this person is feeling a little bit like deflated after whatever conversation you guys had with this Prince of Swords in reverse. Overall, though, I don't, it's almost like they feel like you could be the one or they feel like you could be their top choice. But there's still this hesitation because you guys notice how this card says determination, but it's here in reverse. So it's giving me this energy of someone who kind of knows that you're the choice they want to make, but they're still not quite ready to take the action toward it just yet. A lot of our action cards, like the Seven of Wands, the Prince of Swords in reverse, they're reversed. And then we have this Two of Swords, which is about it's time to make a choice. But a lot of times that Two of Swords is kind of where we're... <laughs> Avoiding making the choice or waiting to make the choice until we're ready. So this is like really interesting. Um, I want to go to another deck. What do I want to do? Um, let's go to the status deck next. Okay. This will be good. How do they perceive the status of this connection right now for pile one? When I was parting the deck, dating came up. Let's see. How does this person perceive the status of their connection with pile number one? 
We do have situation shift. This can get confusing. Ask yourself, where is this going and what do you want? I feel that's their energy. They are asking themselves this question. Where is this going and what do I want? It definitely feels like there has been some sort of a gray area between the both of you. Um, and I feel like the reason they're not taking any action is because they're still maybe not quite sure. Let's see. Oh, this is not an actual card. That's like the, um, <laughs> the instructions for the deck or description of the deck. All right, how are they perceiving the status of this connection, please? We have emotionally unavailable for you. Okay, I'm gonna pull one more. We have friends with sexual benefits. But at the bottom of the deck, we have all in. Let's work things out through the good, through the good, bad, and ugly. It's easy to leave, but I want to stay. You know, there's a lot of mixed emotions here, you guys, <laughs> as there always is in these readings. Um, I definitely think that this person with that emotionally unavailable for you card, I feel with this nine of cups in reverse, it is making me feel like this person might actually think you're the one that's emotionally unavailable because there's an aspect of this person not getting their needs fulfilled you know? And a king of cups, yes, they can be very emotionally kind of stoic at times. They have a lot of emotion inside, but they don't always express it. But this typically does indicate that somebody has feelings or some type of emotion. They're just not expressing it all the time. And maybe for some of you guys, this makes them come across as emotionally unavailable because they're not that expressive. There's a lot of indications this person is not that great with communication, you know? Um, but I feel there's a part of them that might actually think that they're you're the one that's emotionally unavailable because the nine of cups is reverse and there's something that they're not getting that they want from you. There's definitely physical chemistry here. There's a lot of indications that this is kind of, again, it's a blurred lines type of situation, like this card said. But I still think that there's like this feeling of there could be more potentially in the future. Okay. Um... Do I want to pull one of these? I don't know. Or do I want to pull something else? <laughs> I'm just like going with the flow with your reading, you guys. How does this person feel about pile one? Give us more information, please. Okay, this one's fl flying over, flipping over. We have yellow sand. This says, give it time. Okay. Yeah, this person is needing more time to kind of decide and make up their mind about what they want. We also have power and legacy, the dragon at the bottom. This person, I think, is probably someone who's a little bit more established in their life. I think this is also why with a judgment card, they want to take their time while they kind of figure out whether or not this is going to be something that really fits with where they want to go or where, they, where they're at in their life at this time. Um, okay, let's pull some of these little message cards and then we'll close it out with some advice for you because I've already gone on like way too long, pile one. So <laughs> what does this person want to say to you for pile one? What does pile one's person want to say to them at this time? Okay, this karmic situation is busting my, you know what? So they feel that this is tough for them, whatever you guys are going through. We have, you mean the world to me, yeah. There is a lot of feeling here, for sure, even if they're not that great at expressing it. Please be patient with me, yeah. They want you to, look, we have let's cuddle at the bottom. They're definitely enjoying whatever benefits they can receive from you. Um, but it feels like this person does definitely have feelings for you. But they're they're needing a little bit more time to decide what they want, okay? So we're going to close this out, Pile 1, with just a quick little guidance message for you. Just see what you need to keep in mind with regard to your dealings with this person going forward. 
So for pile one, what do they need to keep in mind with regard to this connection? Okay, so we have a few coming out. We're going to take these two. We have stages. I celebrate myself in each stage of my life. Each phase is equally important for my soul development. We also have invasion. I respect your privacy as you continue to grow on your journey. Okay. So if you and this person are kind of in separation or if this person isn't like necessarily wanting to be forthcoming right now with communication, this card is really talking about the need to respect that and respect their boundaries and respect their privacy that they may have asked for, okay? This card is really great because it also, it's more about you not comparing yourself to others and being happy with wherever you're at in life and in love at this time instead of um, wishing that you were somewhere else, okay? Or, I mean, it's okay to wish for better if you guys want to wish for better, but it's more about like appreciating that this connection is here to help you grow. It is a soulmate connection, right? So the two of you are coming together to achieve something in this lifetime, right? You're teaching each other something that you each need to learn for your soul's growth. And that is how you can choose to look at this situation, finding the learning in it and focusing there, okay? We also have Shining Star. You will always stand out above all the rest. Beautiful. I almost kind of feel like that's more than a message from your person than like advice because <laughs> I kept getting with that Seven of Cups that you guys are like the, the choice that they picked out of maybe a few or something like that. Um, I definitely think that that's just a message of reassurance for this group that you do hold a special place in this person's heart, whether or not they're communicating this to you or showing this to you. I do think that they um, they have a lot of care for you, but they're just not ready to move forward yet. So pile one, we will close your reading here. I, as always, would love to hear from you in the comments how this resonates with your situation with your person. So leave me a comment below. If you're not already, please do subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you'll be updated when I post the next reading. And I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. Hey, pile two. If you guys picked out the citrine with the muse tarot, this is going to be your reading. We are going to be looking into how your person currently feels about you. And if you guys did miss the intro, then you will probably have seen this in the thumbnail, but we are gonna be doing the blunt version of this reading. So let's go ahead. We're gonna jump right in, starting off with some oracle cards. So I first wanna understand where this person is currently, kind of where do they stand with regard to your connection? So where does Pile 2's person currently stand with regard to this connection? have regret coming out of the deck. And we have faded meeting. Okay. Mm. Your person, I don't feel, is maybe necessarily in the best place as it pertains to this connection or maybe even their life in general. I see somebody here who is not taking good care of themselves. And I think because they're not taking good care of themselves, it's preventing them from making good choices as it pertains to this connection. This is somebody, like, if we look at the card... It's like they've been partying all night. There's pizza on the dresser. Everything's a mess. It's like, and they're just like passed out, you know? Uh, yeah, I just, I feel that this person is regretful of some choices or decisions that they've made with regard to this connection. And it's coming from the fact that, I think stemming from the fact that they're just not in a good space themselves with their life. Um, and with faded meeting coming up, Maybe you guys kind of spontaneously connected with this person and you weren't expecting to see each other or they weren't expecting to see you and something happened during this interaction that they regret. Um, 
I also think for some of you, if that doesn't resonate, this is a situation where this person may be hoping that you'll connect spontaneously in the future if it's meant to be, um, but they're not in a place, I don't think, where they're going to actually do anything to make it happen. It's almost like they're waiting for this faded <laughs> meeting to just kind of happen, you know? Um, so let's see. I want to pull from the tarot next and just kind of get a sense of their feelings for you. So where does, uh, I'm sorry, how does pile number two's person currently feel about them? Um, yeah, I don't, I part of the deck and we have the three of voices and the king of cups. This person with the three of swords, I don't think is doing that great. And I keep seeing this 10 of wands as I part the deck as well. Lots of burdens on their shoulders. All right, how do they feel? How does, oh, okay. So we have one coming out already. So we have an eight of cups in reverse. This person is change avoidant, I'm getting from that. Let's see, though. We have the Hierophant in reverse. How do they feel about pile two? Temperance in reverse. Clarifying this eight of cups in reverse, please. The hanged muse in reverse. Clarifying this Hierophant in reverse. The page of uh, pentacles and clarifying temperance reversed the hermit card in reverse and we do have a muse of voices at the bottom of the deck this is a king of swords i'm going to pull from one more oracle deck and then we will jump into this energy how do they feel about pile two how does this person feel about pile two We do have new love here at the bottom of the deck. So they are kind of feeling that this is an opportunity for new love. Maybe for some of you guys, this is a new person. Or it could just be um, sometimes with new love, it's kind of like a resurgence or um, renewal of love within an existing connection. Yeah, I definitely think that this person is very like addicted to your energy. They're, they're very drawn to your energy. There's chemistry, there's passion here. And I think that's part of what is keeping them kind of stuck in this energy with you. This person with the Eight of Cups in reverse, they're not quite ready to move on from this situation yet. Even though they know that there are certain things about this situation that are not ideal for them, I don't think that this person is fully happy with this situation. But I also don't think this person is fully happy with themselves either. <laughs> like, I don't think that it's all on you, um, pile one, or I'm sorry, pile two. This person with the hanged man in reverse, I feel is just very stuck. Like, they're in a stuck place. I don't necessarily see them, like, completely coming, willing to come out of their comfort zone or try to make any beneficial changes, um, Give me a second. I feel that they are hesitant to like really let this go. The hanged man is when we are putting something on ice. We're taking pause in a situation. I feel like you guys are kind of in a stuck, stagnant energy with this person already because they're in a stuck, stagnant energy with themselves. This person knows that there's a it's time now for a deep transformational change in their life or that something about this connection needs to change drastically because this is like, a, I think it's a solar eclipse right here, right? And so eclipses bring about massive changes. And this person, I feel with this hanged man in reverse, it's like they're refusing. It's like a stubbornness where they're refusing to kind of see things from a new and fresh perspective and really understand that maybe actually walking away from this would be better for them, you know, um, because they could maybe focus on themselves or focus on the things in their life that they need to focus on that will bring them happiness and fulfillment in their life, but they're hanging on to this. 
With the Hierophant Reverse, you guys, this person is commitment adverse. Like they do not want a commitment. They do not want anything traditional right now. I think they're very much enjoying any benefits that they can get from exchanging with your energy. Um, yeah, non-traditional is what they feel. <laughs> this is a non-traditional situation. I don't think that they want anything serious right now. And it makes a lot of sense. I'm really getting a person that's really not in the best space in their life right now. And with this King of Swords, uh, you know, sometimes this is an energy of somebody who's too much in their head about things. They're too logical, not really tapped into their heart space enough. They're kind of picky at times. They're kind of um, like the moral police at times. Um, and I think that there could be something about this person's high standards that are also causing a problem here. Like I'm almost feeling like this person would only commit to someone that met a really high standard for love that they have in their head that they themselves I don't think are even really ready for, for real, you know? So with the Hierophant Reverse and the Page of Pentacles, they don't want a commitment. And in order for them to feel comfortable getting there, it's going to have to go super, super slow. But I also think this person doesn't want a commitment because they're not really ready mentally, emotionally, financially as well. Pentacles can sometimes talk about our finances. Maybe you and this person met at school or something like that, or they're in school. Um, that could be part of the, the issue, why they're not ready for commitment right now. But I'm feeling that this person is on some sort of a new journey or new path in their life with regard to their career and their finances, their schooling, something like that. And I think that it's making them feel kind of stuck when it comes to actually being able to be in a relationship with someone. Um, they are curious about you. They do find you intriguing. They are There is this passionate energy, but there's not enough for them to want to take fast, swift action here. So with the temperance card in reverse, again, this is all about like the timing being really off. This person feeling like there's a lack of balance in this connection this person may be even feeling that the two of you guys are on totally different pages with what you want and that there's a lot of um, disturbance, disturbances or tempestuous energy here. Especially again with this King of Swords, like I, I feel like this person has this idea in their head of what love is or what type of partner that they want. And they may not feel like you have this, the qualities that they're looking for. Um, that maybe you guys are just way too different. But I feel like a lot of this is this person with the hermit card in reverse. I think that they're not, both of these cards here, right, in reverse, like when they're in the upright, both of these cards really indicate a person who is like going within, in a sense, soul searching, taking a pause to reflect on something. And I'm getting this stubborn energy with this person that they're not doing that. <laughs> it's kind of like they're not seeing things from a new and fresh perspective with regard to this connection. They're not willing to be open-minded to transforming this connection in any way. They're just they're just stubborn. They're stuck right now. Um, so let's see, you guys. Let's pull from the status deck next. I want to see how they are perceiving the status of your relationship right now. So how does Pile 2's person perceive the status of their connection with Pile 2? Tell us the T. <laughs> how are they perceiving the status of their relationship with Pile 2? We have distant. A disconnect, disharmony, or an argument is currently playing a factor in your connection. That's how I feel, you guys. Like, it just feels like very um, just uncomfortable energy between the both of you from their perspective. Let's see. We have needy. This person may feel like you guys are needy, um, which makes sense because they feel a bit emotionally unavailable to me um, as I'm tapping into this energy. So really anyone who has needs is probably going to feel needy to them. But let's see what else. We have situationship. This can get confusing. Ask yourself, where is this going? What do you want? We also have smoking mirrors. This one will tell you whatever you want to hear. So yeah, I mean, obviously, you guys, this person is very much seeing this connection as being... Um, 
just not in a good space right now. I think that you guys aren't on the same page. I feel this person doesn't even really fully know what they want. I think that they just like your energy. They like being physically intimate with you if you guys have done that in the past. Um, they are very much in a gray area with you as it pertains to this connection. And they're seeing you as being needy. And I feel that they they perceive you like this because they don't want a commitment with that Hierophant card in reverse. It may not even be that you guys are actually asking for anything out of the ordinary. It's just like they just aren't able to reciprocate right now. So I'm going to pull one of these. I pulled one of these in pile one, which was kind of cool. So how do they feel about pile two, please? How does this person feel about pile two? We have tangerine, anticipation and excitement, lots of orange energy, which kind of aligns with passion. I think that this person is very physically attracted to you. Um, I do think that you and this person share a fun bond together, right? This is telling me that they do get excited to see you, that they do feel happy at times in your presence, um, that you guys have shared good times together. They anticipate hearing from you. I also think this person is also anticipating what's going to happen next, right? Especially if there's been this disconnect or like an argument going on. This might be saying that they're like kind of waiting in anticipation of like the next shoe to drop, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, but their energy toward you with that tangerine is telling me that they kind of look at this situation through more of the lens of fun, you know, more of the lens of fun and excitement and passion is their, the way they're filtering things. So let's see, pile two. We're going to do some message cards and then we'll close it out with some advice for you. All right. So how does pile two's person feel? What would they want to say to pile two? We have everything's falling apart. Well, yeah, that's pretty obvious based off everything we're seeing here. What else would they say? I'm praying to God. So they're, this person might actually be in a really tough space in their life right now where they're trying to lean into their faith to get them through whatever they're going through. It's interesting that's coming up over the finances card. Like I, I feel that this person's financial situation is not great right now. We also have, I feel insecure. Um, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have you are my rock. So this person is really reliant on you for support and kind of being that stability in their life. But the truth is, is that this person doesn't really seem like they're able to offer you anything stable in return based off what I see here anyway. So pile two, we will close this out with a few of these little um, healing messages for you. Just something for you to reflect on as you continue to navigate this connection going forward. <sighs> Worry. Worrying does nothing but disempower me. I choose to accept whatever outcome is for my highest good. So there's a need to kind of release. <laughs> um, easier said than done, I know. But there's a need to release the need to know what's going to happen here and accept things as they are. We have promise. I will not settle for crumbs. I deserve a great love in this lifetime. Yeah, you guys, this person, it's very obvious to me that there's a, a very clear disconnect between what each of you are wanting. This person does not want a commitment. They don't want to be a support system to anyone right now. They're not in that space, right? And so if you're coming up to this connection, you're showing up, being that st stable person, being nurturing and caring and trying to like be a true partner to this person, and they're not reciprocating, it is going to feel like you're getting crumbs, right? Let's see. We also have equality. If someone cannot reciprocate my same efforts, I do not continue to try harder. I take it as a sign that we may not be on the same page at this time. And that's pretty much the same message here, right? Like very similar energy showing up for you both. Um, so pile two, I think we will go ahead and end the reading here. But as always, please let me know in the comments how you feel the message resonates with your situation. I always love hearing 
your guys's stories so let me know if you're not already please do subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you'll be updated when i post the next reading and i look forward to seeing you then bye Hey, Pile 3, if you guys picked out the Artist Inner Vision Tarot with this Amethyst Crystal, this will be your reading. So we're looking into how your person currently feels about you. Blunt AF. <laughs> I'm sure you guys saw in the title. That's what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to begin by channeling your person's current position as it pertains to this connection. So let's go ahead and see. Where do they stand? Where does Pile Three's person currently stand with regard to this connection? I'm feeling a bit of distracted energy. Let's see, though. Where does this person stand with regard to their connection with Pile Three? So we have legal matters. We have divine timing. Okay. We have music at the bottom of the deck. Somebody here, maybe this person plays guitar or they like to play music of some sort. I feel like this person might actually be spending a lot of time alone right now, honestly, you guys. I don't know why, but for some reason when I'm tapping into this energy, I feel like this is someone who just kind of is spending time alone, like kind of doing their hobbies and interests and like not really thinking about love or maybe even not necessarily thinking about this connection that much because I was getting that distracted energy as I was initially tapping into it. Um, we're going to see though in a minute with more tarot cards, but I feel like this person as it pertains to this connection right now, where they currently stand is that they have made a judgment call <laughs> as it pertains to this connection, a ruling if you will. And I feel like with legal matters coming up here, this person has decided that right now, the best thing to do, the right thing to do for both of you is to wait. Divine timing is oftentimes talking about waiting. Like, not necessarily, let me take that back. It's not necessarily about waiting, but usually when this card comes up, this is a sign that one or both of you guys have been wanting something to happen within a certain time frame, right? Like you're wanting it to happen right now. And when divine timing comes up, this is saying that the situation is not ready to come together just yet, okay? There are other things that both of you, and especially this person, needs to work out before they're going to be able to come back together with you. So I think that this person is coming across to me as someone that wants to do the right thing, right? And with justice, this is reminding me of the justice card in the tarot, it's not always about doing what feels good to us in the moment. It doesn't mean that this person wouldn't want to connect with you or doesn't like you. We're going to see again in a second, but it just seems like right now, for some reason, they've decided that there's there needs to be a little bit of a waiting period here. That's the more fair thing for both. Now, for some of you guys, this person literally could be dealing with legal matters. <laughs> that could be a thing as well. Um, but the timing is not right, is what I get from that. Um, this person could work in like a legal field as well. Um, lawyers, law enforcement, I don't know, something in the legal field. Um, I'm getting for some of you guys as well, this is a karmic partner. Someone that's here to teach you a lesson, maybe a tough lesson. Or what I really kind of get from this is that this person is working out their own stuff, like their own karma in their life, which is why they're not able to come together with you right now. All right, so how do they feel? How does Pile Three's person feel about them? We have a Prince of Swords. Let's see. Oh, we have a Ten of Cups. Okay. And there's Justice again. Very interesting. 
I want to clarify this Prince of Swords. The Tower in Reverse, clarifying the Ten of Cups. The Moon. And clarifying this Justice card. Wow, the Ace of Cups in Reverse flying out of the deck. We also have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. And let me move this crystal over here. Let's, um, I'm going to pull from one more Oracle deck really quickly here, and then we'll get into this energy. How does Pile Three's person feel about them? blonde female coming up here and we have work energy at the bottom of the deck okay for a select few of you guys I do feel like this person like if you're in a committed relationship with this person and literally nothing that I said in the beginning resonated I feel like this person might actually be waiting for the right time to like propose to you because we have this energy of like legal matters, justice, the Ten of Cups. Either way, I feel that this person sees you as like marriage material for sure. Um, this person may also be getting out of a divorce for some of you. I'm already getting like a million different scenarios for a pile three, so just bear with me, you guys. Okay, <clears throat> how do they feel? <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, sorry. I feel like this person, I'm really being drawn into the moon card first, which is way like out of the order, order of how I would read, but um, got to go with where I'm guided. I feel that this person is in a place in their life right now where they are a little bit like working through some stuff emotionally. And <clears throat> I do think for some of you, something about family and like a long-term relationship maybe has maybe caused this person to have some fears around this connection or fears around like being in a loving, committed relationship right now anyway. With the moon, you know, a lot of times when I see this come up in a love reading, this is when someone just really isn't sure. The path forward isn't really clear. There might be some fears that they're feeling or something that they're feeling triggered by with regard to this connection and they may not really even fully understand why they feel that way. Um, but a lot of times I see this come up as more of a blockage in a love reading where like the person is not sure what direction they want to go in. They're confused. They're fearful. The path forward isn't super clear. I feel like this person with the tower in reverse is in a place in their life where they're trying to clean up some sort of a mess, okay? Um... And I feel like whatever mess they've had to clean up, whatever it is that's been going on, is also contributing to the reasons why the timing for this situation isn't feeling quite right, okay? Um, I think whatever your person has gone through has been pretty traumatizing for some of them. I also think that it's been something that really shook them up. Um, I think for some of you, this person is actually in a place where they're like trying to avoid a change, like a pretty massive shakeup in their life. And they're having a hard time kind of keeping it together. And all of this is, I think, making this person feel like, even though they recognize with the Ace of Cups, that this is like a potential connection that they could really dive into and explore and Maybe at one point they felt strong feelings for you. I still feel like they kind of do. Um, there's a lot of fear and anxiety that I'm getting around really jumping and diving into the situation. 
though they recognize it as a potential opportunity to connect. I think this person um, is nervous around you because they perceive your energy as being very like lighthearted and laid back. And I'm getting some indications here that this person is a little bit serious at times, like the legal matters, the justice card, um, even this, this right here. I don't know why I get kind of a serious energy from that as well, kind of a serious sort of somber vibe. And um, I think that your energy makes them a little anxious with that Ace of Cups in reverse. Or it makes them feel a bit unstable or throws them off their game. It disarms them. Um, I do feel with this Ten of Cups that your person sees you as someone that they could be in like a long-term relationship with. I think that they think about you a lot. I think they daydream about this connection a lot. And they think about like what it could be like to be like committed to you in like a family situation with children. Um, but I also think they think about the work that they're going to have to put into that. I'm really being drawn to this farmer here doing work. And I think that this is where the fear is coming in. It's like the fear around putting in the work or the fear of the unknown around like diving into this, putting in the work, and then getting hurt. I feel like this person with this Prince of Swords, this is the Knight of Swords. I feel that they are very much ambitiously <laughs> pursuing whatever the situation is in their life that they're trying to rectify and fix. For some of you guys, they may actually be in a space where they're wanting to kind of talk to you about something that went wrong in this connection and repair things through conversation. But I don't know why. I feel in this reading like you guys are not necessarily connecting with this person right now. It feels like you guys are in separation from this person and that a lot of the energy I'm picking up on is more their own stuff versus like stuff with you. Um, I do think that this person perceives you as being like long-term commitment. Like this would be someone that they could see themselves like tying the knot with, getting married, doing all of that. But I think that because they're maybe not in the best emotional space right now, they may be feeling like the right thing to do is to wait I think for a lot of you guys, there was a point in time where they might have been more ready to dive into this connection. And something has happened which has made them kind of draw back their energy and make a, a choice here to be more neutral about things. So let's see, pile three. I want to pull from the status deck. And let's take a look to see how they are perceiving the status of your relationship with them right now. We do have true love. We have just got out of something. Sexual fantasies. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we kind of, and look at this, we have scared. Someone is scared to open up. Exactly. Pretty much all these cards are confirming what we've already discussed, right? Like they do see this as an opportunity for real, a real love, like a real commitment. But they are fresh out of a situation. And I do think with sexual fantasies coming up here, this person is thinking about you a lot. I don't think it's just sexual, though. 
even though the card says that, I think that they are thinking about you romantically as well. This, I think this just got out of something is the reason why this person is making this judgment call to like wait it out when it comes to pursuing anything with you. So let's see, pile three. How do they feel? Ooh, we have memory impressions coming up. Interesting. You guys may actually have a history with this person and something about the memories they share with you um, have left an impression on them. Now that's gonna vary, like depending on your experience with this person, if it's good or bad. I don't necessarily see it being negative. I actually kind of feel like this person with the Wheel of Fortune might actually feel kind of lucky to have someone like you in their life. But I also think that they kind of perceive your energy as being like in and out, like kind of sporadic at times. Like you're there and then they don't see you and then you're there. And it's like kind of a lot of ups and downs and ins and outs sometimes. But um, there's something about history and memories with this person that have stuck with them. So let's see. Let's pull some message cards. What do they want to say to you? What does their person want to say to them? You turn me on in so many ways. So there's that physical attraction. I'm struggling with money. That kind of goes back to that work energy. Like maybe they just feel right now that they need to isolate and focus on themselves because they don't have their own farm <laughs> together right now, you know, let alone being able to cultivate a farm with someone else as the card depicted. I've been a fool. So there's, they feel silly about something. Maybe this person feels like they really fumbled the bag with you. <laughs> For lack of a better term, I never say that. Maybe this, that's something this person says. I don't know, because I never say that. Um, but there's something they feel silly about with regard to this connection. Maybe they feel that they've missed an opportunity with you with this Ace of Cups reversed. So I want to see what this person would say to you if they were being truthful and honest. I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry, you guys. Uh, we're getting some advice for you right now. <laughs> so for pile three, what should they keep in mind as it pertains to this connection? What should they keep in mind as it pertains to this connection? There's that absent-minded energy that just came through in the reading again, right? We have promise. I will not settle for crumbs. I deserve a great love in this lifetime. So really evaluating and making sure that whatever effort you're putting in is truly being reciprocated. Let's see. We have match. What I want is also seeking me, and it's that energetic frequency that will draw these two points together. It's like no matter what this person is thinking and feeling, pile three, if they're not going to take any action to actually seek you out, and it's always you seeking them out, you know, it's it's an imbalance, right? It's breadcrumbing. You guys deserve somebody who wants to align with you. We have issues. I realize that everyone has their own issues to heal in this life. I cannot do the work for anyone else but myself. So... Beautiful messages to end your reading, pile three. Um, definitely drop me a comment below. Let me know how it resonates and what's been going on with your person. Um, are you guys dating someone in a band? Let me know. I've been there before. <laughs> I would love to hear about it. Um, but let me know in the comments uh, what aspects of the reading you feel resonate with your situation. Um, if you're not already, please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be updated when I post the next reading. And I look forward to seeing you then. Bye.